As a retired educator with 34 years of teaching experience in Chesterfield County, I remember well the butterflies students and teachers feel the night before school starts. With so many connections still remaining in the school division, those feelings will still exist in my stomach even though I won't be returning to the classroom. Hello, my name is Debbie Bailey and I'm excited to serve as the chair to the Chesterfield County School Board. There's just something special about new beginnings. From new beginnings spring hope, encouragement, and optimism, even during this time of uncertainty and social unrest. Though public education may not look like it has in the past, public schools continue to be a beacon of hope for our students, our families, and our community. Public schools provide a safe haven for our students extra set of arms to wrap around our students, equitable services and opportunities that provide all students a chance to experience success and authentic hands-on learning opportunities that will propel them to bright futures. That's why I'm excited about the 2020-21 school year, which begins September 8th for approximately 63,000 students living in Chesterfield County. While our students will initially return to school in a virtual setting, they should expect the same strong, engaging lessons they would receive if they were learning in person in a classroom. The same outstanding teachers seeking to build strong, caring relationships with their students and access to the same resources they, our students, need to experience success. There's no denying that the start of this school year won't feel different from others. But if we focus on what we can control while opening our eyes to the possibilities that lie ahead, this will be another great school year. As Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Let's keep working together to make the most of every opportunity. This will be a great school year for our students. I appreciate your continued support of our system, its award-winning students, staff, and school. Welcome back to school. As a mother of four school-age children, I know the excitement they feel as the first day of school approaches. Even though the start of this school year won't look and feel the same, they are excited to see their teachers and learn who will be in their classes. Hi, I'm Ann Coker, Bermuda District Representative on the School Board. As a parent and a businesswoman and a school board member, I understand the critical role that public education plays in our society. Quality education provides our students the knowledge, the skills, and the attributes of good citizens that are necessary to experience success after high school. We recognize the impact that school closures and virtual learning have had on our students' achievement and student well-being. Building a reopening plan that understands this impact and is created to promote a successful fall learning opportunity is key in what CCPS is committed to do. Let's look at what we've learned and developed over the last six months. The fall virtual learning environment will look different than it did in the spring. Attendance will be taken, participation considered, assignments required and graded, assessments given, and teacher check-ins with students will be required and monitored. Student schedules have been developed that are age appropriate and flexible for those who can't join at the same time their classes meet or who need additional support after hours. To make sure all CCPS students have the technology they need, CCPS has purchased enough Chromebooks for all students pre-K through 12th grade. We've also worked with community partners to provide free internet access through hotspots and partnership with Comcast. The school board and I remain committed to solving obstacles that might prevent access to high quality learning experiences for all children. We are confident the virtual learning opportunities our students will experience this fall will be engaging, authentic, and meaningful. As a parent and as a school board member, 
I expect nothing less. Let's make this school year full of opportunities. Hello, Midlothian residents. As I was getting ready to record this speech, I glanced over at my mask. I picked it up and as I held it in my hand, I felt a sense of the loss of my life before COVID. And then I realized that the mask is actually a good reminder that this school year will be unlike any other school year. And I decided visual reminders are good and it belongs in this video. As I put on my mask, I realized that it is also a symbol of my renewed commitment to health, a commitment that is not just a commitment to wearing a mask, but a commitment to regular exercise, healthy eating, and adequate sleep. As a midwife, I knew that if mom was healthy, there was a better chance that the baby would be healthy. COVID reminds us to put health first. Ultimately, this will make us better parents and our kids better learners. This year, let our mask be a symbol that we will make the health of our community a priority. As I think about the positives behind a new focus on health, I can get excited about this school year. This is the year that we in Chesterfield County Public Schools will put a nurse in every school. This is the year that we will update the filters in every HVAC system. This is the year we start school with a focus on social and emotional learning and center the needs of all kids. This is the year that we prepare to make significant investments in our buildings thanks to the generous support of our Board of Supervisors. Now that is something to celebrate. Happy Back to School 2020. Sending all of my love. This is your Middle School Board Rep. As the father of four school-aged children, I often find myself constantly worrying about things that I didn't have to worry about when I was their age. I don't remember my friends being as stressed out as some children are today. My parents did not have to be concerned about who I was following on Instagram or didn't have to wonder if the latest video on TikTok was appropriate. Hello, I'm Ryan Harder and I'm proud to serve the Matoica District on the school board. My school board colleagues and I are cognizant of the pressures facing today's youth. With 17 children amongst the five of us, we're tuned into the challenges that students and parents face today. Throw in a global pandemic, concerning media reports about murder hornets, fire tornadoes, and the images we see of social unrest from across this country. And our students' lives today are more complicated than ever. Understanding that students have not been in our school buildings for the last six months, trauma-informed student support such as social-emotional classroom lessons and school-wide positive behavior interventions and supports will be a part of your students' virtual school experience this fall. As students' needs for additional supports are determined, appropriate and timely interventions will be offered to students and families. These needs can be communicated to student support service team members, by parents, or by students themselves. K-12 mental health support specialists will be available to help families identify additional community-based mental health resources for students with needs that go beyond the scope of school-based mental health support services. Our children need more social-emotional support now than ever before. Together with our community partners, we're here to stand in the gap in order to protect and serve our students. The school division's team of counselors, social workers, psychologists, mental health support specialists, nurses, and behavioral intervention specialists are ready to support students' social, emotional, and mental needs. Life isn't as simple as it was 25 years ago, but we're here to help navigate life's challenges and make sure that this year's school year is the greatest that it can be. Our children are constantly moving toward their futures. Who knows where their paths might lead them, but starting September 8th, we'll be right there with them to guide them along the way. My name is Dot Heffron, and I'm honored to serve as the Vice Chair of the Chesterfield County School Board. I believe that it's our responsibility to look for the potential inside each of our students and to nurture, encourage, and equip them to achieve it. When they arrive in our virtual classrooms on the first day of school, we will challenge our students to look beyond where they are now and to imagine their possibilities, to imagine tomorrow. 
As a former teacher, I feel a renewed commitment to our students and our profession each year as summer shifts into September. As a leader, I am mindful to balance our tremendous successes with the sobering reality of the profound challenges facing our schools, including confronting a global pandemic. But as we've noted before, challenges become opportunities. Our job is to educate all children, no matter the challenge. Though we'll start in a virtual learning environment this fall, we'll continue to focus on active, hands-on learning opportunities that are innovative, engaging, and relevant. We will challenge our students with difficult assignments and show them that lessons have real-life applications. As the parent of three school-aged children, I can't wait for them to log on with their teachers for the first time on September 8th. Even though they are physically apart, the bond that is created between teacher and student is often unparalleled. This school year may look unlike any other from the perspective that our students and teachers are not all in the same room at the same time, but the engaging lessons students expect, the high quality teachers our parents expect, and the outstanding learning opportunities we all expect will be in place. You have high expectations. Our teachers have high expectations. The school board has high expectations. Working together, we will find ways to get our jobs done so that every child who graduates from Chesterfield County Public Schools is prepared to succeed. Let's make this a great year, no matter the challenges that may come our way.